Hey, how's it going guys? Stefan is here. Welcome back for another video. This is Stefan. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, if you remember, if you follow my videos, I used this SE first generation for a week. And in today's video, I'll give you my opinion. Should you buy one? So let's start with the video. So what is my thoughts of the iPhone AC first generation? So I bought this device a week ago, more than a week ago for uh, 60 British pounds. If you don't believe me, I have the receipt. But yeah, this is still great, great uh, device in 2020. And actually I use it for one week and the experience is pretty good. So I'll give you my thoughts and if you can find a very good example of this SE first generation, definitely give it a go. This device is great and just the nostalgic way of the um, uh, iPhone uh, 4, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, this is great. So this phone, it's a 4 inch. Um, I know that some people will be happy with this size, but in my opinion is great four inch. And I use it for one week, believe it or not. And actually I'm, I'm coming from Pixel 2 XL. So this is a six inch device, as you can see, and pretty, pretty big difference there. But yeah, so what is my thoughts of this SE first generation? Pretty good smartphone, uh, had a very good phone actually so what is the problem with this phone so it's nearly four years old nearly five years old four and a half years old so this being released in 2016 and uh, the problem with this phone is just the battery um, and we know that uh, apple optimized their products pretty well and um, this still uh, it's great phone so actually this operates the latest version of uh, ios i'll show you now so which is pretty pretty good so let's go to general um about so as you can see 13.7 so this device will get uh, ios 14 probably next week so make sure to subscribe and like it because i'm gonna do follow video with uh, ios 14 because actually i'm curious to see how this device uh, after five years nearly uh, still operates the latest version. It's capable, obviously it's capable, it's got a two gigabytes of RAM, so it's capable of uh, iOS 14, but yeah, it's still still very good device, four inch, very compact. Um, obviously this is the classic Apple design and so definitely this is a great phone in my opinion, even in 2020, so definitely I recommend it. But before I recommend it, make sure to get a very good device with a good battery because the problem with this device that I had for one week is just the battery. So the battery, um, it's not very good. Obviously it's a four years old, nearly five, and the battery is gonna be your problem. So you have to have a separate a charger or portable battery because the battery of this device, it's very, very bad. So, let me show you what is the the battery of this device. So let's go to uh, battery and then let's go to battery held. As you can see, 88% after um, four years, which is not bad actually. Uh, this device is second hand, it's not a brand new device, but uh, yeah, this is a great device in 2020. The other problem they have is the speakers. The speakers on this device is not very good. So obviously the display, it's a four inch, you know what you're getting. The display is pretty good. It's very bright actually for four inch displays. It's a retina display. Um, so, but other than that, I think it's gonna be great, great. So you can buy this phone just for a second phone to have, or you, if you never had an Apple device before, I think this is a great phone to, to have in my opinion. Uh, but other than that, yeah, this is going to be great to see how this device will operate iOS 14 because this is going to be interesting to see with uh, all the new features of the iOS 14. So yeah, 
So if the battery is not a problem for you, if the sound, the music is not is not a problem for you, uh, in my opinion, then you should you should buy this this device. The problem is that the speaker is not very loud, and um, it's just it's just a, it's not a problem for me. But if you buy in this phone just to watch videos, and for music, let me show you now. something interesting so we have 110 plus emojis 117 which is very very good so we have different as you can see it's just single single mono speaker here but yeah other than that i think it's a great great smartphone even in 2020 so nostalgic apple device so if the the battery is not a problem if the speaker is not a problem yeah definitely this is a great device first generation of touch id still works pretty good it's a little bit slower but obviously this is the first generation but other than that i think it's gonna be great great smartphone even after uh, a year so i hope this device will get more updates some people say maybe this is gonna be the last year but maybe apple will surprise us so yeah let me know what you think guys um do you have your still uh, uh first generation of the iphone ac let me know in the comments down below and uh yeah subscribe and make sure to subscribe because i'm gonna do a video after the update after we get the ios 14 for this device my name is stefan i'm going to see you in my next video